noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. Noble Gold Investments is pleased to let you know that gold is the best investment in the year 2022. According to the longtermtrends.net, gold has actually outperformed the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and Bitcoin for the year 2022. Had you invested in the S&P 500 a year ago, you would have been down 20% of value. Had you invested in Bitcoin last January, you would be down 65%. And if you invested in the Dow Jones uh, last January, you would be down 10%. But if you had invested in gold, you would have been positive about 12%. And this is the year they expected to even go higher. Uh, while the world was busy hauling, uh, ha hailing after other assets as the real hedge, gold and silver are the only assets that would have protected your wealth. So join the thousands of others by opening a gold IRA or silver IRA with noblegoldinvestment.com. That's www.noblegoldinvestment.com. And if you do it before the end of this month, they will bag you a free one quarter of an ounce American Gold Eagle coin with every qualifying uh, IRA of $50,000 or more. Here it is. This is one quarter of an ounce pure gold American Eagle coin. Amazing. Uh, you wouldn't believe it how heavy this thing is. When it's, when you, it's just unbelievable. But, you know, it's a fourth of an ounce. And uh, it's gold. And it can be yours for free. So while you're investing, you're rolling over that 401k or investing some of your savings into gold IRA, protecting your money, actually, and it will grow, it will expand, you will grow your money instead of losing it in these other areas that's been happening to the people for some time now. All right. No okay, everyone, check out this article from DNYUZ. It's entitled Davos Confronts a New World Order. So it reads like this, the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, finds itself navigating troubled waters, you don't say. Long the affluent symbol of a globalizing world where the assumption was that more trade would bring more freedom, it now confronts international fracture, ascendant nationalism, and growing protectionism under the shadow of war in Europe and sharp tensions between the United States and China. The post-Cold War era dominated by the idea that Western liberal democracy and free market capitalism held all the answers is over. Wow. This was the very ethos of Davos. Incredible. It must now pivot to the new reality provoked by the COVID-19 pandemic, the war in Ukraine, the growth of extreme inequality, and aggressive Russian and Chinese autocracies. If the old is gone, the new order is not yet reborn. Power is shifting away from the United States as China's military and economic heft grows. But the shape of an alternative international system is still unclear, the article reads. One measure of a world transformed is that when thousands of Brazilian protesters, convinced without evidence of a stolen election last year, stormed the Brazilian Congress this month. Their action felt like a copycat attack modeled on the assault on the United States Capitol of January 6, 2021. It is one measure of pre former President Donald Trump's legacy that many people now make this association. The gathering in the Swiss mountains next week of politicians, business leaders, technology gurus, environmentalists, and other Davos patrons only the second in-person after a two-year pandemic-induced hiatus will wrestle with questions once unthinkable. To what degree is the world deglobalizing as the threat to supply chains has become evident through the COVID-19 pandemic and war? Is it possible to end the trench warfare in Europe that has already taken tens of thousands of Ukrainian and Russian lives and led to talk far-fetched but insistent of possible nuclear Armageddon 
a word used by President Biden last year. If the conflict in Ukraine persists through 2023, as now it appears plausible, how can a war-induced global recession be avoided as investment curtailing uncertainty persists and prices soar? These are some of the issues that will confront the assembled crowd. China is sending a vice premier, Li He to Davos, the first time a Chinese leader has attended the forum since the pandemic began. The American delegation will include Catherine Tai, the trade representative, John Kerry, Mr. Biden's special envoy for climate, and Samantha Power, the administrator of the United States Agency for International Development. Also, Vladimir Zelensky, the Ukrainian president, has indicated that he will attend, although whether that's through a video link or in person is still unclear. Wow, incredible. So guys, that's only part of the article. And if you're interested in reading the rest of the article, I highly suggest you do so. I will provide a link to the article in the video description. And I will see everybody on the next video.